welcome to episode 61 of Build That House with Jim. So I just got confirmation that my plumber buddy's coming over and we're going to start roughing in the pipes that will eventually live under the slab and carry all the black water, which is your toilet water, and gray water, which is like your bathtub water and your dish sink water and get it out of here down to the road where fortunately we're tied into a sewer here so there'll be no need for septic tanks and the property's graded down perfectly so everything rolls downhill if you know what i mean so that's a that's a plus uh, i look forward to getting started on this process even if he shows me where to dig today i'll be very happy you don't really want to pay a qualified plumber their rate to dig. Uh, I find that more my qualification. So anyway, welcome to 61. And what a crazy day it was yesterday. I turned on the uh, YouTube analytics and I have five new subscribers just yesterday alone. That brings my grand total up to 55 subscribers. I'm absolutely delighted. I can't believe it. And thank you so much for taking an interest in what I'm doing here. Let's take a look at what I'm just kind of went, wung it yesterday and uh, I'll show you what I got. See what he thinks too, I don't know. Yeah, so that'll be the main sewer pipe out. Now all this stuff has to tie into that. So how that's gonna go, that'll be up to him. All right, we'll see how it goes. And this 14 inch toilet, 14 inches from the finished wall here, right? Yeah, I, I would go for, some guys go 12 and a half, 13, but <laughs> when it's okay. stone and concrete, why okay. not give it an inch? Exactly, 14 inches it is. <laughs> guy well we didn't grab a four inch wide did we is this all there is yep i threw everything i had in there well there's a p-trap for your floor drain oh we did get a four inch cap so uh, we got a cap oh there we go Let's go. Something like that. It's just like Lego, but completely different. And then forty five over to that corner. And so this, this is a three inch that shoots out back over here. What do we got from over here? Uh, we'll have to use a couple of 45s in the wall there. Oh, I didn't get any three inch shit, did I? Some stuff in here. Two. That's, we didn't order that. That's mine. I just threw yeah. all whatever <laughs> I had in there. That's a three inch 45. Well, it's a fitting 45. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> we didn't buy that one. I probably got, yeah, I probably got that in my stuff. Yeah. And then we can use two 45s in the corner. Bring it up. I'll need two more at the other end. Fuck, this holds water pretty good, eh? <laughs> How do those go, Graham? Hmm? How do those work? Well, it just makes a 90, right? I think so. So basically, that. 
that is in this section here like so. so it'll have to come up like this or you could you could 45 this up i prefer that yeah have, like, you might have to jackhammer some of that well maybe not but oh, um, yeah we'll be up we'll higher. be up quite high so you might be able to miss it and that's we, what i like to see there yeah bring it up like that okay i thought that was what it was oh oh man bad back graham okay oh. well that's close so we got pretty much everything we need for underground Above the ground. So this will be like, something like that. Is that correct? Yeah, something like that. And then this will connect to that. Are, are you gonna build a shower or buy one, or what are you doing? I just want this. I just want this roughed in. I don't okay, well know. Just put it, you know, six eight inches off the wall. Something like that. Yeah. Then you can build a little box around it before you pour the concrete. Oh yeah, so you can get to it later? Yeah, if you have to, you can move the drain a little bit. You can 45 it or... Okay, well, when we get to that... Or even a piece of styrofoam or something you can just knock out easy. Okay. And then, yeah, your vent will come up here for the bathroom. Uh-huh. Vent come up. Oh, it's a lot of work. I don't mean that this is pretty simple, but that bathroom, <laughs> another bathroom, laundry, kitchen, and another bathroom over there. Okay, this is what we've settled on, and at least what we'll start with. That will service the utility room and the bathroom on the main floor we come over here that's the main sewer out of course then we come out here and we y and this services this little suite set here which will be plumbed in may never use it but at least it's there if someone wanted to put a little ba bathroom and a shower down in the basement and then this is the long stretch right over to here and like that and that'll shoot up the wall and service the kitchen on the main floor directly above us and then way up there on the top floor there's a bathroom so that'll pick all that up so once again this over here services the guest bathroom on the main floor bedroom bathroom on the top floor utility room which is on the main floor, sorry, adjacent to the bathroom. And then back over to here. So it doesn't seem too complicated, the rough-in, but I imagine once we start getting to all the pipes, the actual pipes for all this stuff, it'll, it'll get a lot more fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the kind of thing you're going to run into. Big rocks embedded in hard pan. That's probably 20 minutes worth of work. There's just no easy way of getting it out. You just literally have to keep chiseling around the perimeter. and It's right in my way, of course. So that's the way it is. Day one of that in. What I mean by saying day one... It's three hours. I mean, not like it took me eight hours or anything, but... So that's what it's going to take. Carving through that hard pan. It's a long stretch over there. And then that over there. But not too bad, really, when you think of how big this place is. Let's see how far I get tomorrow, folks. It's all just dog labor, though. If you're used to a warm, comfy office building, sipping your coffee, this might not work for you. <laughs> 